Hey everybody, Jerry from Hobby Wholesale. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about batteries and most specifically nickel metal hydride batteries or NIMH. Uh, they're the uh, type of battery that you're probably familiar with uh, or similar to the batteries that you're familiar with back in the day if you used to do RC related stuff probably 15, 20 years ago. And they are still quite prominent as uh, a good starting point for most individuals uh, buying a vehicle that's ready to run or for individuals that are uh, using say fuel powered vehicles, whether it be plane, uh, helicopter, car, uh, just because of the nature of the batteries. So the batteries themselves are sort of the successor of NICADs and very similar in their properties, uh, with the exception of these ones do not hold a charge or a memory, kind of the same way that the, uh, the old NICADs did. Um, but they are a very stable, uh, very easy to use battery. And if you're even moderately taking care of them, they're really, really hard to wreck. So they're quite robust and uh, resilient in that regard. So when we talk about a nickel metal hydride battery, uh, that's the chemistry that makes up the cells. They come in a wide variety of shapes and configurations, as well as uh, a wide variety of, of different uh, capacities, which will give you different runtime or different usage. And uh, a lot of different varieties of plugs on them as well, depending on your application. Nickel metal hydride batteries are typically characterized by a series of cells, depending on the configuration of your battery. For RC cars, for example, most common will be a six cell, 7.2 volt, or an 8.4. This one here is uh, got a seventh cell, which accounts for the extra voltage stuck on the end. Those are also available as a hump pack. So again, you can see some of the different configurations. Uh, and again, very easy to use. They are quite a bit different than lithiums. We get questions comparing the two of them all the time. Uh, the major difference between them is the nickel metal hydride tend to be heavier. Uh, they tend to not quite give up the power the same way as the, the, the lithiums. Uh, so you get a little bit of a different uh, uh, performance, I guess you could say, between the lithiums and the nickel metal hydride. And uh, these guys here, they're a little bit better for people that are starting out younger kids because they don't require the same level of care and maintenance. Now, when it comes to nickel metal as well, one of the biggest uh, mysteries or questions that we get by a lot, from a lot of people are regarding the charging. Why won't my car run? Well, uh, first of all, we always go to the charge. Most individuals will say, well, my battery's charged. And we ask them, how do you know? Well, because my charger said so. With nickel metal hydride batteries, if they sit for a period of time, they tend to go a little bit dormant, which is also different than the lithiums. The lithiums don't have any such, uh, such characteristic. But what happens is when you're trying to charge, your battery then will not charge fully. Your charger uh, will basically sense a peak in voltage or a drop in voltage and will basically stop charging and say, hey, I'm done. So as a general rule, when charging, we tell most people that when your charger says your battery is finished, regardless of, of how long it's been on the charger and how expensive your charger is, if this battery does not feel warm to the touch, it is not charged. Um, I say like a glove warmer that you wear in the winter time, some people say armpit warm. Bottom line is when it's on your charger, you need to feel some heat. If you haven't used your battery for a period of time, say over the winter, the batteries do go dormant. So you need to charge them multiple times, two, three, four, eight times until that battery gets warm. So as a general rule, when you are working with these batteries, uh, just make sure that when the charger says it's finished, your battery does physically feel warm to the touch and then you should be good to go. If you have any questions about batteries and the differences between nickel metal hydride and perhaps lithium, if you're considering switching between the two, certainly come by or give us a call and we'll do what we can to help. If you like what you see, uh, certainly subscribe or like our videos and we'll uh, do our best to keep bringing you more stuff. Thanks very much for joining us.